So without further ado, over to you, Nigel. And good morning to you all. How great it is to be here. And thank you so much indeed for inviting me. What's amazing when I hear about this pandemic and unprecedented times, which actually is not true, because if you lived your life over a thousand years, this is probably the 20th or 30th pandemic experience that we've had. So we've had the bubonic plague, we've had depression, we've had world wars, we've had SARS, we've had Ebola, we have the ash cloud, we have the internet, Y2000. We've had loads of these type of events. And then when one of these appears, we think, oh my God, what are we gonna do? So I'm gonna share some ideas on finding out how you can be real in today's world, how you can be real for your clients, how you can be real for your staff. And so if you wanna write down the word real, I'd be grateful, which is R-E-A-L. And the first thing you've gotta look at is what retention and results do you wanna create with your people and your clients? So I'm lucky, I've been speaking now for just over 20 years. I've spoken to about 2 million people over 60 countries and 95% of all of my clients I like. So the first thing you need to think about is if you looked at your top 20 clients, top 50 clients, or you looked at your top 20 or 50 staff, would you retain them or rehire them today? And if you think about football, and I'm sure a few of you are into football, the top 17 stay in the premiership and the bottom three get relegated. So we dehire three clients each and every year. Now that's really brave, bearing in mind we live in a world where turnover is vanity and profit is sanity, that we really wanna work with people who are real with us and trust us as a partner, not as a one-off transaction. And I'm blessed that my top 20 clients that I work with I actually have a key fob to get into their building and walk around their staff whenever I want because they are what I call true partners and they are real to me and they're real to them. So the question you need to ask yourself right now is in these weird times, how many clients would you retain if today was your first day of business? So I'm always looking at what results do I want to create for my clients? What results do I want to create for my team? And more importantly, what results do I want to create for my family? So I often say to people, when was the last time you gave your staff a piece of your heart more than a piece of your mind? If everyone who was listening to this webinar today looked at all their staff and all of their clients, do you trust them or do you like them? You don't have to like everybody, but you do have to trust everybody. I often share that I'm happy to give my credit card to anybody for a month. At this point, JJ's just raised his eyebrows at me. I can see this, okay? I'm happy to give my credit card because if I'm not willing to give you my credit card for a month, it means I don't trust you. And trust is a bit like pregnancy. You either are or you're not. And you either do trust or you don't trust. And there's no middle ground on this. And if you want to be real with your staff, ask yourself right now, how many of my staff will I give my credit card to for a month? But the E for me of real is the key one, which is enthusiasm. No one who books me, and I, you know, I've been speaking over 20 years, I'm not worried if they don't like me. What I'm really worried about is if they said to me, we didn't get your passion, we didn't get your enthusiasm. The word enthusiasm, the last four letters of enthusiasm is I-A-S-M, I am sold myself. And the reason I get booked a lot is because of my passion and energy and my enthusiasm. Most speakers are looking for high marks. I'm looking to change organizations so they have more fun at work and they're in joy more in what they're doing. So for me, my enthusiasm and my passion is the key. So when I finish a day, I've, I just ask myself, did I, was I in joy today? Am I in joy doing a webinar for one of my favorite speaker bureaus? Of course I am. It would be better if I didn't have JJ's face looking right at me here, but that's a separate story. But I'm enjoy doing this work. If you looked at your day and asked yourself every single day, is what I'm doing in alignment with my mission? Did I enjoy my day? Life is pretty simple. And the reason some of our staff are never happy is because they're just going through the mundane. They're just going through the motions. If you could find a way to get them to enjoy their job 5% more. And true leaders 
and let me get this right for you, you lead people and you manage things. Then the big thing for me always is the word action. And whenever I finish the speech, my last line is, when all is said and done, much more is said than done. So I often ask an audience, just by a show of hands, if you listen to a brilliant idea from me or any of the other speakers, how many of you would take action? And Sophie, what percentage do you think put their hands up? Um, I'm going to say probably most people put their hands yeah, up. Yeah, 99% of people put their hands up. And then I say you're lying because only 20% of you are, even though you all say you want to. So I often offer them a prize. I say, if you send me an email about actually what you have done based on my speech or anybody else's, I will send you a prize. Sophie, how many prizes do you think I send out a year? Hmm, not very many. <laughs> under 10% under of all the audiences I speak to, and it's a free gift. And the reason is because people love to listen and people love to write notes. And I often say to people, I'd much prefer for you to take notice than take notes. And what's interesting, people actually write that down, which is baffling. Then I say to people, it's no use writing loads and loads of notes down and then putting them on the shelves. That's called shelf development. What we want you doing is doing something different based on the speaker. And it might be an athlete, an astronaut, someone who sailed around the world. There'll be a key lesson from most speakers. The problem is most people get ready for this and it's going to be rude. Are you ready? Are lazy. We want to sit in an audience be spoken to, have loads of ideas shared, and then think magically God will provide the answers and there'll be a parting of the waves and our lives just work. So the word satisfaction comes from the Latin word satis, which means enough. And if you take enough action, you get satisfaction, which is not that complicated. So you've got to be relevant in today's world and retain your best clients. You've got to re be relevant and retain your best staff. There's only one thing worse, by the way, than motivated and trained staff leaving your organization. And that's untrained and unmotivated staff staying in your organization. And then the last letter of real is about leadership. And I've spoken a little bit about it, but I want to go to the next level. If you're a leader and no one's following you, you're not a leader. You need to enhance your followership skills, not necessarily your leadership skills. You've got to make sure you have a compelling mission that people understand and they want to follow. You've got to have a vision that people trust. And the more you can lead your people and not manage your people, and the more you can understand that leadership is about enhancing their personal effectiveness. So everybody who's listening to this, you have to ask yourself, have I led my team to success without even being there? Have they followed me because they trust in the process? Or are they just doing the same thing time and time again? And most people have got stuff on their desk they're never going to do. Most people have got phone calls. If they just picked up the phone and made the phone call, they could become real. What we do is we, we send an email. And because everyone's out of office, we think it's left our office. We don't have to worry about it. I want all the people who are listening to this webinar to commit today to making five phone calls to five people they haven't spoken to over the last couple of weeks. And if they do that, and they send you, JJ, or me an email, I will send them a prize. And then they're going to go next month to another speaker session that you've got to hear more insights to make their life work better. And they won't follow theirs either. And that's the tragedy of the 21st century that we listen and do very little about it. I will tell you now, real leadership is about being honest with yourself and honest with your team. It's about being enthusiastic in the moment and keep going but taking action without an excuse and then being the leader you always needed to be so you have your best year ever. There you go.